Whoever sees this and subscribes right now will get a free light bulb powered by good ideas. What's going on YouTube? It's Noxo and we're back with kind of with our reaction series. Now, you guys who are used to me now, you know that every once in a while I like to just get in front of this microphone, turn the camera on and talk about, well, something that I'm feeling at the time, something that's important to me. So I thought, you know, given a lot of what's going on in the world today, a lot of the craziness, I'll take a moment to talk about depression and to talk about anxiety. Now, as you guys know who follow my music, um, you know, I do a lot of songs where I reference these things and I reference going through the dark times. I reference the inner turmoils and the inner struggles and the battles that we all go through. There's a lot of artists that I react to, like the sick worlds, like the NFs who talk about the internal struggles and the demons that we all face. And, and one of the reasons I feel like it's so important is because, you know, we tend to have a stigma even now against people's mental health. And we tend to believe that, you know, people who get really down and, and depressed or who fall into addiction, like they could have helped it themselves. And sometimes we treat them like there's, there's something wrong with them. You know, and what we have to understand is that, you know, mental health is, is a sickness if it goes wrong. You know, people fall into these holes that it feels like they can never get out of. And, you know, some people might look at them and go, well, well, why can't you get yourself up? You know, keep working, keep moving. Don't stop. Stay positive. Come on, turn your life around like that. And, and we just expect them to be able to dig themselves up. But a lot of times you have to appreciate the stories that people have and the reason why they are where they are. So I just thought I'd talk a little bit about me and some of uh, my journey. Now, when I was younger, I don't want to go into too much details in this video, but you know, I, I definitely had a phase and a stage in my life when I was really just incredibly down and I suffered from depression. Now, look, I know it's trendy in uh, a lot of today's media and how people talk and post on social media to, you know, act like something's wrong with you to do that. And sometimes that waters down people who are truly down and who are truly depressed. Now, when you're depressed, or at least I'll talk about, you know, my situation. The simplest things are incredibly difficult. You know, just just something simple as getting out of bed feels like a chore. Making yourself eat breakfast or even making breakfast can be the hardest thing in the world to do. I think that's what people don't uh, appreciate about someone who really is seriously depressed or going through that type of anxiety is that it's just like the simple things that we take for granted in life all of a sudden become huge battles and in order just to do one of those things it takes so much energy and focus and mental power to do that you're just exhausted and drained after that one thing and then it becomes a catch-22 with sleep too i mean sleep was terrible man i was so tired all the time i wasn't eating well i wasn't eating right I wasn't exercising well. I couldn't find the motivation to do much of anything when I tried to do stuff. You know, I was dealing with the pain, with the hurt in my head, with the struggles and the inner turmoil and just trying to deal with those voices. There was just so much going on up here that I couldn't even really process or deal with the world out here. And the more that you don't sleep because you can't sleep and yet you're so tired, all you need to do is sleep because your body recovers, your mind heals when you sleep and yet you can't do it. And one of the things that really got to me was the mornings would be awful. If I would finally fall asleep and it would be super late, I would wake up like that. And I would like sit up from bed and I would jump up like something's wrong. And the anxiety in the world would just hit me and, and just cave in on you, man. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. You know, I, I have been lucky because I've had a good support system. I've had a great support system of family to look out for me, of friends to look out for me and to be there for you. And... It's hard because you feel like you're so alone. You feel like you're so distant from everyone. And you're screaming out for help. Like you want to tell people what's wrong, but you can't find the words to do it. And you, you just want to be better because you don't want people to look down on you. You don't want people to be hurt. You don't want to upset others because you're so upset. And then you get even more upset because you see how it's affecting the world around you. You see how it's affecting people that care about you. It really is a vicious cycle. Now, I don't know how many of you guys saw The Joker but it is a great movie. And one of the interesting things in the Joker that they looked at is the mind. And the best way I can equate it is that, listen, everybody has certain levels of what they can take and go through. You know, some people are just mentally tougher than others. Some people just 
can take a situation, put it in a box, and not dwell on it in the same way that someone else that'll take it and overanalyze it and overthink it and overdo it. And as you guys know, I, I internalize everything, and I'm always thinking. I mean, you know, I do these reactions, I do these breakdowns. A lot happens up here in this world, and I really have a problem taking something and just putting it into a box and letting it be. You know, I have to look at it. I have to figure out what I did wrong. I have to figure out how I could fix it. I play all these hypotheticals. I just keep going back and back and back. And when you keep going backwards, you can't move or look forwards. But anyways, the Joker. What's really interesting about that movie is that you have an example of a man who already has mental issues and difficulties. And, and he's got this childhood trauma that he's had to deal with. But he's still trying to function. He's still trying to make it in this world and in society. And what happens is that one thing happens. You know, he, he gets beat up by the kids. Then he loses his job. You know, then his mom gets ill. Then he finds out that he is adopted. There, there's just so many things that happen. And I compare it to putting weights on a scale or putting weights on someone's shoulders. Everybody can take a certain amount of weight and pressure. Even the strongest man in the world, he can take a ton of weights that you put on him. But eventually, all it takes is that one weight to go over and to knock him down. We all have our breaking points is what I'm saying. And, and the Joker shows that because he finally hits sort of his breaking point. You know, so many things have gone wrong, so many stacks. And it's funny because you talk about support systems and not everyone has the same support system. And maybe if he had a different support system or maybe if just a single one of those events went in a different way, he wouldn't have gone down the path that he did and turned to the things that he turned to. And I know that that's a movie, but it's an interesting psychological study because a lot of that happens in real life too, you know. Pain happens to all of us. Life sucks, guys. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Everybody is going to have to go through loss. Everybody is going to have to go through suffering of some sort, whether that's financially, whether that's psychologically, whether that's with relationships. We all have pressures. We all have things that we have to deal with in today's world, and it gets even worse having to deal with it on social media where you can't unplug and you can't get away from it a lot of the time. But if you, you take enough stresses, you take enough wrongs, you start to pile it on someone's shoulders, you know, sure, someone who can't put those things aside and keep moving, he'll fall earlier. But even incredibly, incredibly strong-willed and mentally tough people, if you put enough weights on their shoulders and enough pressures, and if they don't have that support system or if just the right events go wrong at the perfect time, anybody can crumble. Anybody can break. And I want us all to really appreciate that. And when you see someone who's down, when you see someone who needs help, try to put yourself in their shoes. Because honestly, maybe if things were different for you in your life, you would be them. You would be in their situation. And also appreciate that, that people who are down, um, people who are incredibly sad, they don't want to be that way. Nobody wants to be sad. Nobody wants to be upset all the time. We all want to be well. And we're more than aware of how it affects our family, how it affects our friends. So just think about that when you're dealing with someone who, who has the courage to admit that they're struggling mentally, who has the courage to um, try to find the words and let you know that they're suffering, that they're not well. And you know, just be kind to your fellow humans. So that's one of the reasons why I do do songs like I Get Lonely, why I do songs like I Worry About Myself. And I talk about the mental struggle and the mental anguish that we all have to go through because I want those songs to serve as a point for people just to know that you're not in this alone, that you're not going through this alone because a lot of times when you're feeling that way, you feel like you're on an island. So I want that music to be a message of hope, to be relatable, you know, to put myself back in that world in that time when I felt that way. So hopefully others can empathize with that. And even people who are up, you know, we all have down days and... It's just a way of me using my music as an outlet to help me deal with situations, but also using it as an outlet, hopefully, to inspire and help you guys and just let you know that we are all in this world together. You know, there are billions of people in this world. We are not in it alone. Everyone has to deal with pain and stress. So there's always someone who can empathize. There's always someone who can relate. And no matter what you're going through, just know that you are not alone and yeah i see some of the comments sometimes you know even i get bullied for it or i get the trolls or i get the haters like oh no he's just copying these artists or or he's just doing it this way because it's trendy to talk about psychological distress 
I mean, if you if you listen to the lyrics and what I'm trying to say and the message that I'm trying to give and how I'm trying to inspire people, I don't I don't understand how you can really say that. But that's just the world that we live in, guys. You know, I'm always going to write about what I know as an MC and I love to do different genres and different sounds of music. You know, I, I love to have like my hip hop head, like my philosophy hat on, like to talk about social issues, to talk about political things. I like to make songs that we can have fun with, that we can write out to, that I just do bars and punchlines and wordplay. I like to do songs that are a lot deeper, that dive into the mental world. I like to do songs that talk about history and different issues. Sometimes I do songs that combine all of this. You know, I never want to be defined in one box in one lane, but Underneath of it all, my music has always stood for something greater. I want you to listen to my music and feel something. I want you to listen to my music and for it to, even if it just inspires one of you and helps one of you in one way, just knowing that you're not alone and you know, just helping you feel better or even taking you back to a certain place when you were a better person and you were enjoying life more and just having that nostalgia. It's those little moments and those little feelings that I want to capture. If I could just do that for one individual, I don't care if I get, you know, 99,000 hate messages. I've done my job, and that's all that really matters to me. Anyways, I don't, I don't really know where I'm going with this. Again, sometimes I just hit record and I just start talking. So anyways, as always, guys, I appreciate the support and the love. And please keep that in mind when dealing with the comments on here, when dealing with your fellow human beings. Always remember that you don't know the other person's story and their struggles. So I hope me sharing mine and a little bit of what I went through in my experience helps some of you guys. And again, if you need anything at all, please, we're building a community here. Don't, don't hesitate to reach out to this community. You know, the Discord link will be below. You can go in there. You can post. We have mental health discussions in there. I think it's very important, especially in today's world and age. But I love you as always, guys. Stay tuned. Thanks for rocking with me. Thanks for growing the sub base and just support me. It means the world. I'll catch you in the next vid. I'm out.